Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I'm about to hop on a call, so I've actually got to answer it right now. He's calling me. I It's a, just a meeting about the funding pairs, prop firm. Uh, obviously, you know, with the TFF situation, it's still, they've still actually not even replied to my legal team, funny enough, the, my demand letter. Um, but yeah, weird one. They should, uh, <laughs> definitely. But yeah, we've got a call right now with Marcial. Can't really say too much, but it's gonna go well. I've got big, big faith in this. Plan of action, gym, cardio. We haven't eaten any food yet. I still need to walk the dog. I've got a lot to do today. I've entered into a cell already, which I'm gonna show you on the analysis in a second on gold. We secured 40 pips this morning and then jumped back in, risking the profits that we made from the London Open. So fingers crossed we can get this. I just wanna say thank you for all the support. We're on day six or five. I don't know, I'm losing my fucking shit already. But I think we're on day five. So I still have 70 days including today. So 71 basically including today. It is what it is. You know, we're still here, we're still kicking, we're still uploading, we're still trading. And I'm I'm losing weight, man. I'm actually losing weight. I've not had not any fast food. I've eaten clean. I've been doing my cardio, my runs, my saunas. The only thing that is lacking is the cold plunge, which we'll introduce next week. Apart from that, I need to go on this call. He's calling me. Positive phone call. So, turns out, they've got MT4, MT5, Ninja Trader, Match Trader, Trade Locker, C Trader. They've got it all. They do the tech too. That is why it's important to, to do your research with this sort of stuff. Because, you know, you can have your own in-house technology, but it just... It is easier for another, uh, you know, high infrastructure company to do it. I have my own technology, but I just don't use it because there's always, always issues with tech. Always issues with tech, and you don't, you don't need a big team, but you need someone hands on. The only issue with using technology providers is they basically just can cut you off like that. They have all your client details and all that sort of stuff. It's a business in the end of the day and you would hope that they do it professional. These company, they're very professional and you know, very, very fortunately, I don't have to start from the bottom with the prop firm. You know, we've got a lot of uh, liquidity cash in the bank from TFF and we can continue to use that and drive that with the new business. We have the HQ that we spent over 500 grand on. We've only used it for about eight podcasts. So we can change that into the funding pairs one. And that's what I mean, you know, onwards and upwards. There's always, you're gonna take L's in life. That's, that, that's gonna happen, but you gotta learn through your experiences and then push on. If you don't learn, then it's just gonna fail again. We'll have to see what happens moving forward. I was just saying to the Platinum group chat, because we lost these cells. I was saying, sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. However, studying the market's a key. And if you look at this, this was the previous zone, you know, the 25, area. We still have to retest. We've retested here and we've broken out. Great. We still have to retest down this zone here. It will make so much more sense if we retested this zone, which means just because we have taken, just because we have taken a loss does not mean it is a loss that is gonna stay with us. And as much as you can say, you know, we hit the SL and all this, but we've learned from the trade. Yeah, the sales didn't happen now, but it will happen eventually. And because we're studying the charts every single day, we're going to hit the trade at some point, and then we're gonna catch that bearish downward trend. That is why you have to study the markets every day, even if you're not trading. Do your analysis, mark up certain areas in the market, the supply and demand zones, all of this builds your confidence when taking trades, but also it builds your skill with trading. You have to you have to act on it, otherwise what's the point? You have to look at the markets, even if you're not entering, because otherwise you don't know at certain areas where it's touched. Oh, last week it touched here. We might pull back to the lows and then go up bullish. That's why it's a lifestyle. Doesn't mean you have to be tra sitting there trading all day, every day, but a couple minutes, five, 10 minutes, every single day, looking at the charts, throughout the day, looking at the charts, seeing where price is. And that's what makes trading fun, you know? Like, I, I love that. And then when you hit a good trade, it's like, come on, yes. So definitely just wh whatever you want to take from this, get on the charts, look on the charts, do your own little breakdown, pretend you're recording a video and just see how it goes. And keep doing it every day and your skill will develop. Bash, we got four eggs in there, a little bit of scrambled egg. We got salt, pepper, 
And now to finish off the recipe. Don't hate me until you try it. Do not hate me until you try it. But yeah, four eggs, very, very nice. I'm taking a nice little chill morning today, to be fair. It's a Friday, you gotta enjoy yourself. I normally go gym very, very early, but there's no need to go gym early today. Just chill out, have my business meetings, cook my eggs, all the dog. Maybe even do a late night gym session with Sauna. That would probably be nice too, if I'm honest with you. That would be really nice. Maybe try to up, switch up, see how I feel. But yeah, I'm just literally gonna eat this, sit at the charts, do some uh, do some research, and uh, speak, speak to my mentorship group, and just get things going. So the FTMO 100K quick update. I've basically finished my eggs as well. Um, I'm currently doing it with one of my pals in real life and he decided to take a trade. Even though the account was in like one or 2% drawdown, we're now got 3% left of the account. We're on 93,000. So let me just speak about this quickly before I get moving on my day. It is not over till it's over. I've had 140K funding from FTMO in pounds. I've been like minus 9% drawdown and I've turned that into profit and withdrawn. You use small risk, you slowly get yourself back into profits and then you accumulate the profits and keep going. It is difficult, however, don't just go, oh fuck it, I'll risk 1%, I've got 1% left. You risk 0.25, risk 0.5%. It's not over till it's over. You can put it back if you get the right trades, get the right momentum. Just because you've got minus 8%, minus 9% does not mean that you can't put it back. You might've just had a bad week, bad day trading, and you know, maybe over risk too much, but the trade that you are seeking may come in and then that may save you. So it works both ways. You can lose, you can win. Just a bit of advice, if you are in drawdown, don't panic. There's no time limit for these challenges either. You can take as long as you want and I'm gonna get out of this and we're gonna make a big comeback. And then we're gonna get him on a podcast which will be part of this video, not this video right now, but when, when, when we pass, talking about all the experiences that we've been through. I'm actually, I'm gonna start heading out now, but we just caught a beautiful sales at 26.18 with an SL at 26.20, which is a 20 pip SL. So, you know, we've got good risk to reward and we closed at 26.12 slash 26.14. So we secured three to 4% on this trade if you're in the free trading group and also platinum group. I also called a sell limit at 26.16. So we're gonna see if it hits. If not, then that's all good because we secured it. And I started to trade Great British Pound, Australian dollar. We bought in very, very nicely on the 1H. As you can see, we're on the bullish momentum. Lower highs are being respected. We pulled in here, nice little buyers at 1.9200 the 20 pip sl again very 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 tight sl but this is how you make the r to r and a 20 pip take profit smashed at 1.9400 to secure one percent so within the last 20 minutes we've just secured a very nice four to five percent and gold is still selling off that's what i mean we had a bad morning lost about two to three percent now up four percent in total overall one percent for today now i'm gonna go get some food go to the shops i still need to walk the dog still need to do my exercises so the day is not over let's see how this goes but beautiful sales and buyers come on so after them sales that we caught i entered sales at 2613 guess what happened <laughs> sl hit now entered sell limit because i prematurely entered the cells okay i'll just pull fuck it i'm going in yeah fucked it didn't i mess it up sl hit bang now the cell limit 26 16. now a lot of you are going to be saying oh why don't you just you know hold out your trades because every time i fucking hold out the trade it comes back to entry and then i have to enter again anyway so i might as well secure the profits and then just try a couple times on the entry and i still make a, i still make a percent or two if i if i lose so out of the cells at 26.18, I took the 3%, then lost the percent, so that's 2%, but I still secured the 2%, and we're back in. And if it does go to my take profit, it's also a 10 to 1, which means it's a 12% trade. So I, I win, I win. 
I win. We're on the walk. Still need to go to the gym and do my cardio. Ain't an issue for me. I'm an absolute machine. I am gagging for the sauna today. It's my fifth day. Fucking hell, fifth day. Fifth day on. And I'm feeling good. Positive mindset. You know, eating clean. St stomachs. Stomachs looking a bit better. But in, if, if anything, it's just, it wasn't so much. Gym, I was just in a bad routine before I did this challenge. You know, I was just half arsing shit with like the gym and everything like that, trading as well. And, uh, you know, just in a, just in a mentality mindset where I just know I can offer more to, to myself. I know I can provide more, do more. I know where I, I know where I need to get to. However, I just got to keep getting there. I know it's going to be lessons along the way, but that's fine, you know, but take those lessons. As I always say, the losses are, ex they're not losses, they're lessons. And we take those because you're never going to grow, progress if you don't fail. With that being said, I did not expect myself to even do this challenge. It was, I watched someone do it. Some, there's a Forex guy doing it. I forgot his name, but it's like Wiz Kid or something. I, I forgot his, I, it's, it's terrible that i forgot his channel but i do watch him every day but it's also like i want to look back on this in i don't know in 70 days time and go fucking hell mate like you know i'll tell you boys how much and girls how much i've made through trading through like signal sales through you know brokers prop firms i'll tell you how much i've made in the next two months and then uh, hopefully you guys can set up your own channels and you know get dialed in with trading and see what life has to offer you because it doesn't come to you you've got to go get it and unfortunately you have to learn you know you have to learn how to edit you have to learn how to just just get the, get the phone i'm using the phone you know but like i'm going off topic now but like i was saying it'll be good to look back on the first day and the and the 75th day see where my head's at see how my opinions have changed if 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 they have at all see the weight loss pet person there stop 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 come bash back in the hq time back workout because i did back buys leg back buys fucking hell what did i do back buys legs and then chest and shoulders so back on again back session this is day five and uh, yeah, so cardio as well. We're gonna do 20 minutes on the stepper and then straight in a sauna. I'm buzzing for this. It's gonna be a good workout. We're gonna get it done. That's how it is. You know what I mean? Fucking day five. With this sort of challenge, you gotta take every day as it comes. You can't look at the next day. You gotta look at just what's in front of you. And it's quite a good thing. It's, it, you learn a lot from the challenge or just in general, not even about the challenge, it's just about being consistent and saying you're gonna do something and then do, taking action on it. There's some sort of like pride and joy you get from it. Some sense of like egoness achievement where you've said you're gonna do it and you do it. And you know, now we're here. So let's go get a nice back session in. Bye. Ah, just had to remortgage. Spoke to the the company today um joking it was only a demo account but yeah fuck the sales we knew that was going to happen let's be honest that's why we secured the three percent jot it's annoying though that we couldn't make any more i mean we had the pound aud but realistically speaking selling gold's a gamble at the moment until we see some sort of retest or breaking structure or you know head and shoulder pattern or double top or free touch wick you know something just some technical analysis to help us jump in the trade um but today even the sales that we called and we secured the profits you know it went to 100 plus pips so if anyone secured the five percent well fucking done sometimes you get luck like that if you don't close straight away you get some extra pips but nevertheless uh, you live and learn every day take it as it comes you know i think it was yesterday we hit over 12 percent or some shit uh or it was the day before i get i get lost in morning because we're just pipping pipping out the fucking everything at the moment day five right now i'm on so day four is getting uploaded tonight i'm on day five right now in the gym come on Trading's going well though, FTMO 100k is going well. Just stay consistent. The biggest thing which you guys already know is manage your risk and stay consistent. Stop trying to complete trading in the same day. Take your time. 
It's a marathon, not a sprint. Please. You have to learn from mistakes, man. Five, six, seven, The smelling salt. Ooh! It gets some moon! Because they're all right. Oh, fucking hell, smell that. Oh my god. <coughs> oh, I'm meant to cry. Oh my god. Everything, just get it all in my face. Right, 100 kg, here we go. All the build up for nothing. Oh, here we go. I'm five minutes in, I'm on 12 speed, another 15 minutes to go. I'm already sweating, but as much as this is, as much as this is hard, when I'm done and I get to get in that sauna, yes, means I completed another day of gym and cardio. I need to go shopping after this, go get some herrings for the snack of fish, and then night walk, get my, get my steps up still. Can't wait to go have a protein shake as well. Straight after this and abs, I'm going to get a shake in because I'm so hungry, I thought I'd go on a calorie deficit. Try not to eat, I'm dying. But we're going to cut weight faster, so that's a good thing. Oh, fuck. You right, boys? I'm back. So, just so you guys can see, 20 minutes, 150 calories. Stop. Holy shit, always the hardest thing. If you can see my arms, look how much I'm dripping. Whole thing soaked. That's done. It's like. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I fell. Fucking hell. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck off. No, that's the worst. I'm looking at the phone, not what I'm doing in real life. No, that is the worst. Paige, quick. It needs cleaning. Anyway, protein shake. I can't believe it's nearly like fucking. Look at that, to the fucking line as well, Jesus Christ, unreal. Open sesame, oh fuck, quick close. Ah, oh, now I can relax. I'm gonna put some peaceful music in. Gym done, cardio done, abs done. Day five, boys. We're still kicking, we're still swimming. Mate, this sauna is so fucking good, man. If you can afford one of these and get it in your house, like, money aside, health is everything. This, like, reduces cardiovascular like, heart attacks and shit by, like, 60%. Gets all the toxic shit out of your body. You can also install this with like red light therapy, which is good also for your skin or like all the dead cells. Same with this, cold plunge too. Every, all of this shit, even though it costs a little bit of money and it's hard to do as well, like routine wise, cause you're like, fuck it, I just won't make time. I've just finished work, I've got to get home, eat dinner, you know, spend time with the missus, kids or whatever's going on. You know, your Xbox 360 fucking MW2 party chat. <sighs> There's just nothing quite like doing this and just looking after yourself. It makes life easier, makes you uh, activity better, like think better, just everything. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy this time now. This is not time 
to sit here chatting to you. It's just time to fucking relax and just zone out, zen out with some peaceful music. So. I'm just sitting here patiently waiting for my food. Look at that, mince meat. Come on. Oh, fucking get inside me now. That is unreal. And you got, oh, his tail's just wagging in the food there. Leo's a bit, he needs a bit of help, I think. If you boys are gonna start flaming me about this challenge, all the carbs are on this side of the plate. All the minced meat is now on this side, all right? Do not judge me. I'm not eating carbs for the sake of it. Maybe a ba bacon chicken, you know, get inside me, but undercooked pasta, no thank you. Ah, <sighs> just gone shopping in Waitrose. Shut up, My phone's dead, so I'm using pages. Seems like better quality, if I'm honest. Might have to take this one off your hands. <laughs> now, I know what you guys are thinking. That looks like looks amazing. Disgusting. Amazing. Like what you would feed like Amazing. Alive, an animal. Yeah, I am an animal. <laughs> <laughs> right, look. okay, I'm just gonna go in. Man. Mm. Oh. oh yeah, 